All right, we're going to play some Sally Gooden now. Let's check it out. Two, one, two, three, four. Now, a couple things about this. Let's look at this. The turnaround, the second turnaround for both the A and B section is tricky because you're going alternate strings and you're doing alternate picking as well, and you're changing strings on every note. And then when you change the pattern over to the next set of strings, it's it goes from down, up, down to up, down, up. So down, up, down. notes are doing the same thing over an E chord, then an A chord, but they're sort of flip-flop because of the down, up, down, up, down, up. Anyway, something to isolate and go over as such. You can also play it like this, which comes in handy for... you want to start playing it like that or try playing it like that so the, the other thing is on the B section the second time through the motif um, if you play it sort of as written you get that. However, I like to play that E on the A string so that when you play the notes that follow, you get this sort of uh, the the no, you know that that open E doesn't stick out, and you so you get this kind of chicken picking sound. So. All together now. <laughs> 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 